quick. I was making a new box because this one was for my town car. This one extra small. It's only five and a half cubic feet. So nothing was sitting on top of the speakers. They were like sitting like one on top of the other, in a sense. And as soon as I got this one, I'm like, dang. So I'm trying to think if I want to do a recon or buy another one or just buy a set of speakers. I just pulled them off the shelf so I could try to sell them. Um, but yeah, man, that, that hurt my heart. I had these speakers since 2013. So I got the CV right here. Taking all this out and then uh, putting MDF board right here. Like the same one that was right here. I'm gonna show y'all in a second in the garage. Same one was right here, but I'm taking the speakers out the side. I had two six by nines on. Taking them out, uh, put, the, put the TV back, right? But it's not gonna be movable like it, like it was. Um, I think you might put it in a six by nine and three to part right here for me for the driver area because I got this two six and a half that's in the doors and they sound like garbage. So that's what I'm thinking. The TV gonna come down about here. Well, I'm trying to see like if I get this out the way, I can see what I really want to do. Like if I want to tip the TV up and then make the TV stop here, or TV straight down and stop down here. But if I stop it down here, I'll be able to put that 6 by 9 uh, soundboard right there. So, I'm still thinking about that. Uh, thinking about putting wood floors in here. Carpet, uh, it ain't dirty, but it look, it look bad. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. What I'm going to do with that. I'm still going to put speakers, some speakers in these doors. It got 18 speakers already. We got the factories, the two in front, two in the back, though. Six up there. I got it respray that it fell I mean it's a sitting in storage six by nines over here on the other side six by nines on that soundboard I had right there so it got a lot of speakers two amps two two highs amps uh, so I'm thinking about a soundboard right here so if I cut this down a couple of inches I'll be able to flush mount flush mount it then put a TV mount right here and then that TV go straight down or have the bottom of the TV on um, something like this and angled up then follow that trend but when i get that piece out then i'll see what i really want to do the tv light so i don't have to worry about weight either uh these six by nine is gonna go in that six by nine pod if i do it and then i, I might just get two more too since like if you look at this it's like close to four feet it's not four feet so i know you fit two on one side two tweeters in the middle there and two more on the other side so still think about it um but yeah my dang speaker's blown, man. That's painful, bro. And the killer part is I ain't even know. If I wouldn't have pushed the speaker, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have found out. Like my amp probably would have blew up and I would have got another amp and been wondering why my amp's blowing up. But yeah, if your speaker uh sound like this and you hook it up on your amp, your amp won't blow. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I need to make it quick too, because I need to get this van ready to go.